Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel and our first series. Um, I guess this sort of functions as the welcome to the channel blurb as well as the start of this uh, particular intro. So, um, hi, welcome to the channel. <laughs> I plan on doing a few series here on the channel like reviews, tips and tricks, and of course, let's plays. Um, just a few things I want to cover for the actual video, however, before we get started. And that is, um, first, <laughs> anyway, the first 12 minutes or so of this video after this intro, uh, is character creation. So, if you're not interested in that, feel free to skip it. I know not everyone is, but some people very much are. So, I wanted to leave it in there for them. Um, second, this series was filmed live on Twitch, so there will be some interaction with the chat. Uh, if you hear me talking to somebody who's not there or responding to a question that wasn't asked, it's Twitch chat. Uh, third, this first video is a little bit longer than most will be, but that's just because that, uh, there was a lot that ended up in the video. Um, character creation, the intro mission, and cutscenes, they all ran a bit longer than I thought they would. Um, and I didn't want to chop the first episode in the middle of that, that first mission. Um, but the plan going forward is for these episodes to sit somewhere in the 30 to 45 minute range. All that being said, that I think is enough nonsense. Let's get into the content. I sincerely hope you enjoy. And, uh, if you do, consider, uh, giving a like and subscribe. <laughs> that being said, enjoy the content, everybody. Hello, everybody. And welcome Hello, to Hogwarts everybody. Legacy. Buddy. And apparently an unmuted stream. <laughs> the music for this game so far is fantastic. Uh, it's war crime time. <laughs> I wouldn't say war crime time. But um We're gonna be doing a if you we're gonna be doing a slightly evil Ravenclaw playthrough. It's not a war crime if no one's alive to snitch. <laughs> oh, it's my Hogwarts letter. Oh, shit. I've been waiting to get this shit for years. Fuck yeah. Um, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted as at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. The term begins on, the first, on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously allowed Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Signors, yeah, yours sincerely, I said signors. Did y'all hear that? I said signors. <clears throat> Yours sincerely, M. Weasley. Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Hell yeah! I got my Hogwarts letter and it was from a Weasley, goddammit! That shit's great! Never again. Fuck you, Solace! <laughs> Sorted into Gryffindor with an Elder Wand with Phoenix Hook. So, I... I want very badly... Hold on a second, actually. Can I, can I, can I hit back again and fuck with the audio? Because it's really loud. No? Okay, I guess. Alright, here's what I'll do. I'll turn the actual... Yeah, I'll turn the actual game down so I don't have to, like, project my voice to talk over the fucking music. Uh, Gryffindor, Elder Wand, Phoenix Core, and a Cheetah Patronus. Um... Oh, because you did the online. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, online I have, um... Ravenclaw, Crow Patronus, and, uh... I forget exactly what it is, but I think it's- I think my wand is Spruce, 11 inches, Dragon Heartstring Core, and Unyielding Flexibility. I think. Speaking of which, uh, despite the fact that I do think we're gonna end up going with the wand that the website gave me, we are gonna go into the wand creator just so I can show it off to you guys. Um... You join a Purple Alien Gang at the end of this month? That's true, Will! I forgot about that! Go one left and as you- 11. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, this one right here is obviously me. Obviously. So, I actually think I'll leave this up to you guys. Should I do my usual thing and make a chick? Or should I, uh, should I make a me? 
I'm gonna look at all the faces for a minute while the votes cast. She looks like somebody on a TV show I'm watching. Make a you? Alright, so that's two votes for dude, one votes for evil stepmommy. Sorry, beef. Um, Alright, so what... Have you guys seen a face that, like, looks like my face? Because the face is the only thing that you can't... Alright, um... My face is the only thing that you can't change later on. All right, we're just going to pick this one and move on. Actually, no, I don't like that one. Yeah, fuck it, picking this one and moving on. All right. Oh, cool, we can still pick the face shape. All right, cool. So, yeah, just pick that dude. All right. Oh, God. That kind of looks close-ish. Not really. Now, we already decided... Eh. We already decided, Salas. We're trying to make a me. I never try to make a me. Although, that said, I'm really bad at making a me. So, if we're making a me, we need to make it so this motherfucker looks like he's never seen sunlight in his life. Ugh. I hate them all. <laughs> we better get different glasses. <clears throat> Sunlight, the fuck is that? <laughs> no, Solace, I'm trying to make myself. Yeah, this is obviously my hair, guys. This is obviously my hair right here. It's obviously me. Actually, that's actually all. That's actually pretty much me. <laughs> like, my hair. That's kind of cool. Where's that? Alright, bottom of the first page. I guess it's top of the second page, technically. Second one in. There is a lot of hair. I'll say that. I, I know so many people with that exact haircut. <laughs> no, no, that's the one. Yeah. That's, that's my fucking hair. Alright, um... So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight or eight or nine, one of the two. Ah, oh, you can make it sick. Should we? Should should we have purple hair, chat? Should 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 that be the thing? Should that be the one exception that we do? I know we said we were making a me, but I want purple hair. <laughs> if not, we're probably going to go with um, that one. Matt says he'll allow it. Tell you what, for right now, we'll leave it like this until Will gets back, because he's the other one that voted to make a me, and I don't want to I don't want to do that without him. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I got that red shit on my cheeks. I definitely got that red shit on my cheeks. Yeah. I used to I fucking used to, anyway. There you go. Yeah, that one. That one. Freckles and moles. Oh, less freckles is good. I don't have none, but less is good. That's not... I don't even think I have freckles. I think I have, like, marks on my face. I don't even fucking know. We'll just do that. Yeah, there you go. See, the more I go on, the less I like the face shape I chose. So, we're probably going to go back and fix that. I can never figure out if my eyes are blue or green. But I think it says green on my fucking ID. 
Freckles caused by the light from the monitors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Low-key, I do, I am actually curious as to what it says on my ID. It says blue on my ID, so we're going with blue. Make them grew then. Yeah, exactly, grew. I'm, I, I think it's funny because I, I think I'm horrible at making me's in like character creators because, ah, oh, purple eyes. All right, if I don't get the hair, I'm doing the eyes. Right, and if I go over here, what's this? This is where I pick the voice and the difficulty and the, okay. So we're gonna go back to face shape real quick. Um, I think that's a little closer. And then that's the one we had, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's closer. All right, if Will's not back in like a minute, I'm I'm just I'm making my hair purple and calling it, and he's not allowed to complain about it. Oh come on, let me have purple hair, you fucking twat. You know what? Hear me out. Here's why I'm gonna allow the purple hair. Because I would totally do this in real life. My mom Baby. likes purple hair. <laughs> that was a good one, baby. That was a good one. How you doing, hon? A few cobwebs and some dust. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I can very well be able to help you. Ah, it sounds like a fucking alien. Go! Oh, a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Um, I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. Yeah, let's just not modulate his voice because it sounds a little too robot robotic for me. We're putting it on hard because we like pain here. So should we? Do you, what do you guys think? Should we just do stony games, or do you guys, or do you think we should do something funny with like the last name or something? That popped up. Solace, thank you so much for the tier one gifted to Cole. That's fucking awesome of you, man. I appreciate it. This choice will determine your player's character's dormitory. Okay, cool. Look, I'm satisfied with my purple hair. All right, we have our wizard. Our name is Stony Games. Bloop. Beep. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Yo, what the fuck? This dude looked confused <laughs> as shit. Eliazar! George, <laughs> glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. What was that look? I don't like that look.
Oh, that's interesting. We can't see the Thestrals. Assuming that it is being pulled by Thestrals. Um, Silas, you can just watch me play, man. And if you decide you really need it, you know what I mean? I am going to turn off the face cam for right now. Uh, I'll adjust it later on when we get the full UI. But uh, for now, I think we're just going to do it without it. So, I'll see you guys later. Oh, like you have something better to do, Salas. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. <coughs> it came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh, we see it though. Merlin's beard. How did you- Wait. We do. Yo! That dude got fucking eight! And that's why we can see the Thestrals, I'm guessing. Yep. But say we have magic. <laughs> Use it. Are you alright? It's a port key. Uh, I love a good port key. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. No, 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 no. Down to heal. Yes, the key was a port key. What happened? <laughs> Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A 
typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. To... I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Okay, so wait. Volume. Now hold on, so we're gonna turn it back up to its appropriate volume. And now we're going to turn this way the fuck down. Ah. No. No. No, no, no. Turn. Oh, shit. No. Turn that down. And turn that down. There we go. I actually really been liking the music in this game. It's it's pretty. I like that you can change the pitch as well. I personally didn't do it because they sounded a little too robot-y for me. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it is the character's voice. All right, that's cool. <laughs> I did. I tried. It's it sounds robot-y and alieny. I'm not a. Uh particular fan. Oh, real quick, let me make sure that stayed. It did. All right, cool. Just right for the channel, then. Alien. That's true. That's true. That's very true, Will. How far did that port key take us? farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think- The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected, but Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. For sure. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Let's do this shit. I like our, I like our brown coat, actually. Mind your step. Oh, wait. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Uh, yeah, late 1800s. It's like 1890 or something like that. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few Seems to have been lost to time. Ah, uh, this is where he does the Reparo thing. From the trailer, it's down there, I can see it. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Yep, up here. <laughs> But All sir, right, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. And I am going to misuse the fuck out of it. Let's do it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Yes. Focus on the center. <laughs> cool. Oh, 
cool. Yeah, that feels Excellent. good. Excellent. Uh, use R to select an active target. All right, so it's just kind of whoever I'm genuine, generally looking at, right? Yeah. That's cool. Oh shit! I just kicked the old man in the back of the head. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Dude, I just kicked you in the back of the head. <laughs> Your one works improving with every cast. Right, Thank you, sir. Sick. What's up, Will? Ah, up there. Oh, cool, you can like scrabble up things. Cool, I was wondering. Is there loot over here? This looks like, ah, secrets. 44 galleons, hell yeah. No. The 1800s. That's like a thousand dollars, right? Right? Is that how this works? We're close now. It's just ahead. I uh, need to show you some clips from anime I watched today. Wand work. The audio is insane on it. All right. Send them over. I'll watch them when I can. Oh, guys, guys, it's the thing from the trailer. Steady yourself. Repair. God, this game is cool. I am very happy that I'm playing it. I'm actually, like, ridiculously Almost happy there. I have my purple hair. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Dude, this is ridiculously satisfying for no here. reason. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Well, I hope it wasn't one of those pots, because I just destroyed a bunch of those. Uh... Okay. Investing. Professor. This statue. This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Oh shit, it's a mirror. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Get over here so I can touch it. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Touch it. Touch it. What in Merlin's name? We touched it. Chat, I touched the butt. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Who's snoring? Is it a dragon? Oh, it's this goblin here. All right, I didn't even see him. Hey, dude. What's up? Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> True, Will. Mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. 
Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. I love the detail in this whole Stay thing. Stay close. For sure. This is awesome. The minecart! After you. Sick. And keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> uh, hold on, guys. Seriously, these things um, do some weird shit. There's a skip How button. Why would I skip there, this? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? Why? Oh, hey. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Dude, my Settle mouth in. is just hanging We have up. quite a distance to go. This is... this is fucking sick. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. What's in Vault 12? Is it another Philosopher's Stone, guys? Yo, he's following us. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. So it's an easy job. It's a dozen donuts or something. <laughs> Here we are. Dude, goblins are low-key pretty fucking cool. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. So the easiest job in the world for hundreds of years. Got it. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. I love that we just stumbled ass backwards into this shit. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Mr. Black. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Yes, it was. Let me think. There must be something here. Mm. Jesus Christ, Revelio, Cole. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Ah, did you Let's see that shimmer? see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay, steady your wand path with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Okay, okay, okay. So, so like, I gotta hold up and then... Alright, alright, alright. Okay.
okay. All right, all right. Head down, ass up, and <laughs> goblins. The goblins don't know how to run a business, to Revelio. be honest with you. But they know how to keep track there. of money. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Hey. A door. Revelio. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... Touch. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Touch. Lead the way. Touch. <laughs> Lumos. Ooh. Teach. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Stay close to Professor Fig. Got it. Don't wander into the darkness. Got it. How many people you you guys think immediately just turned around and wandered into the darkness? Gonna lurk while playing some games. Appreciate the lurk, Math. Best of luck with your games. I see something up ahead. What is it? That Even fucking again. Landmark is playing. But on the floor. Wait, Landmark actually ended up playing it? That's funny as hell. I know he asked his chat, and I know a lot of people were interested, but I didn't think he was actually gonna play it. That's hilarious. Do wander into the darkness, then you can join the dark side. We have cookies. Dude, I know! I'm already here! I got tempted by the cookies. <laughs> I got tempted young by the cookies. And Darth Vader being a badass. Whoa! Lumos! What happened? Ah! When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Except... Revelio! Revelio! I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. You gotta flip the... Wait. Uh, 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 uh. When you moved... The reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Yes! Sick. Agreed, Cole. These visuals are fucking awesome. Acquired one lighting charm, Lumos, which automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand, up you see in dark areas. So hold this. So if I tap this, I shoot. But if I hold it, Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Magic! Oh shit! Oh shit! All right, remember how this is on hard difficulty? Oh shit, Protego! Protego! Accio! Defendo! Levioso! Deposo! Exposo! Deposo! Levioso! Carfringo! Defendo! I know I'm technically supposed to be holding, but I'm kinda. Ow! Dude's casting spells 
feels like a motherfucker. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Where are you? What's happening? Hey, I'm so sorry. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. that's where they're leading me. Let glow again. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Here. Lumos. Ah, okay. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. going to get dehydrating. I'm in the middle. I was in the middle of fighting. Uh, hold during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Okay. That's cool. It is a Soulsborne. Yeah, it really is. I get it now. You can roll per fuck you, it's a souls war here, right? Lumos. Oh shit, we got the sprint. And boom! I don't know what it is, Will, but it's sick. I love this game so far. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> Revelio. Loot! <laughs> Hell yeah. I've already made like 150 galleons. Nope, nothing secret about this. Touch! Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive, 
for viewing memories. I wonder. I didn't recognize it. Dumbledore's was much more elaborate. <laughs> Follow my lead. Much hydration has been done. Thank you, chat. is well hidden perhaps too well i wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough percival we are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets with knowledge others will do anything to obtain yes and if we are correct charles the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. <laughs> oh, shit. I was right. It's Lord of the Rings. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your yeah, young right. friend here will be more helpful. What you? Are you all right? 
right. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I'm assuming we're like right next to Hogwarts. Oh, the Hogwarts Express! Shit. Ten out of ten. Amazing game over. Dude, this game's fucking sick. <laughs> we haven't even done anything yet, and this game is fucking sick. Saying it right oh, now. good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. After this. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now... I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? As ready as I'll ever be. Fuck you, Solace. Hear me out. This is gonna be game of the year. Or one of them. It's gonna be up for it, I'll tell you that. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Professor Weasley, she looks Welcome. so nice. You're just in time. Have a seat. Sorry, Salas, we already did the voting for this on the Discord. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Fuck that, I can't wait to start classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. 
quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Yes, please. Best house, please. You belong in Ravenclaw. Yay! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Ah! Boo! Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Uh, he is a fucking prick. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. Um... I do have the, the account linked, Cole. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Ooh, do we actually get to solve the riddle? Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can, non be. can never have been. I don't get it. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Cole. I also have my wand linked, but we are going to do the wand creator. Um, even if I do end up going with the wand that's linked. Because I might, because I really do like it.